often I try and record these videos at school and get frustrated by things like people walking past my office, gardeners with the whippersnipper and the mowers, and the peacocks and guinea fowl shouting at each other across the campus. So I thought I had to go doing this one from home, but uh, someone has a chainsaw that you might hear in the background. Someone's out to make sure I never become a YouTube star. I think lots of people, if not most people, are well aware of the version history that's available in Google Documents. So that lets you go back and see who made what changes to a shared document and restore it to an original version of a document if someone makes a big boo-boo somewhere along the way. There are a couple of other features that can be used with this version history. One is that you can name your version. So you can have a draft one, draft two, draft three, or you can name one of the versions a template, for example. And it gives you a way to then take an earlier version of a document and make a copy of it. So then you wind up with both the, the new updates and the original version. Yes, you can force people to make a copy or get people to make a copy of the document before they start working on it. That doesn't always work out. So this is a way for those times when someone's made lots of changes and you're thinking to yourself, what was on the original version? Anyway, let's have a look. And I'm going to use Google Documents for this particular example. All right, so I'm using a Google document, and this is our Academic Continuity Protocol document. So you can see here that I've actually named it Draft for Comment, and it's actually now a little bit old. We're now in the 21-22 academic year, going into the 22-23. By opening up the revision history, so I've got my version history here. If this isn't showing for some reason, then you can also come across to file and then go version history and then see the version history. And there's also a keyboard shortcut there that you can use. So if we open up our version history, we can see all the different versions that have been created of this document. Now I can, rather than creating a copy and then having multiple documents floating around the place, it is actually possible to take the latest version here and call it a different name. So it's a named version. Like that. Now, if I come back to the original document and we'll make some changes. So we'll do a new draft and we'll draft it in March 2022 and we'll set the review date for September 2023 just to keep it looking like that. And I can also go ahead and change the academic year up there if I needed to. I could also take out parts of the title as well. Having made those couple of changes, if I now go back to my version history, all right, so here's the current version we're working on. Here's the main version that I had before. Now, I can even sort of toggle the switch here just to tidy it up so I'm only seeing the ones that have a name. I can also untick this box here so that you can't actually see the changes that, that were made if, if, if you're finding it a little bit distracting. Now, the other thing that you can do, so say that I wanted this as a copy now. So it's after the thought. We haven't thought to make a copy before moving on with the document. I can come back to this earlier version, click the three dots over here, and I can make a copy. I could go restore this version, but then I'd lose all the new changes that I made. So I'd probably want to make a copy of this version. And when you click that, you give it a new name, tell it the folder that you want to be in, and you can go ahead and share it with the same people if you wish to. And there you go, just a couple of small tips of ways that you can use the version history for your Google document to get some version control over what's happening, be able to go back to older versions of the same document and restore those without necessarily losing all the new changes that you've made. As always, if you have any problems with that, come and find me and we'll get you sorted out. Cheers.